What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Sam the Beard Guy channel. So today we're going to be talking about superimposing chords, putting triads on top of other chords, all the goodies. You are jumping in in the middle of a 10-part uh, advanced piano lesson series. So if you haven't seen the other videos, go back, watch them, like them, sub if you want to see the next videos come out. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get going. So superimposed chords. So what I mean by that is playing chords on top of chords. So if we take a F7... Had a beard here on my mic. F7. Let's go through some of the triads and stack those on top of our voicing to see if it works. So let's, uh, we're not going to do all of them because not all of them work, but let's do A flat. So that would be something that you use to get like a sharp nine sound, right? Because you have this in there and then you're still hitting your chord tones. So A flat over F is cool. Um, if you wanted to do, let's say, like a B flat, that doesn't really work a ton. But what if you did D flat? You have a sharp nine, and then like a sharp five or flat 13, depending on how uh, you think of it. And depending on what it is, you would change. If it was a sharp five, you'd play maybe that. Or even just leave it out. If it was a flat 13, you might leave the 5 in, right? Um, but you also have to be mindful because this uh, sharp 9, uh, or the, the flat 9 distance, can sometimes create the, uh, a weird sounding chord. So. so yeah, that's uh, uh, D flat. E flat works too. Actually, when I think of sus chords, I... So that's kind of how to uh, voice them. Uh, you'll see a lot of that, like in big band charts, it's just like voicing and just, you're just, I mean, there's so many alterations in some of those charts. You're just playing triads on chords, triads on triads or triads on voicings, because that's an easy way to grab a lot of alterations um, and make it sound good, but also thinking of it uh, in an improv setting. So let's do, uh, let's go to a different key. Let's go, uh, let's do E flat. And then uh, we'll do a two, five, one, and E flat. So, it's just a simple. Let's play a B triad. All right, man, that's, that's cool. Let's do E. not even think of it as like a theory thing just <laughs> sometimes you can just use it to uh, play outside so I've talked about um, in an earlier video um, sometimes when you're playing outside but you're in the context of where you're playing outside, you're playing inside. So you're playing triads that theoretically make no sense over what you're playing, but they still kind of make sense because they make sense in their own kind of way. I'm trying to explain jazz and sometimes that can be hard to do, but um, it makes sense to the ear because in the right, helm, right hand realm, it's inside. When you put it up against the left hand realm, it's outside so the ear can hear that you know hey something's happening here that's inside but i'm hearing it up against something that makes it outside but i can still kind of hear how it's inside its own little world 
<clears throat> and so that is what I uh, mean by inside uh, and outside all at the same time. So sometimes just what you're playing doesn't make any sense theory, theory wise, but it's about tension and release. A lot of jazz is tension and release. And so uh, let's do another key. Let's do uh, uh, a two, five and F. So yeah, finding ways to just play uh, triads on top of triads can be um, a cool uh, sound uh, for you to experiment with. Again, using tension and release, uh, that's a lot of what it is. Sometimes it's hitting chord alterations. Um, so even if it doesn't make sense theoretically, like if I were to play, let's do a C7 again, and I'm just going to play a B major triad over it. Right, so I kind of use the to resolve to F. Right, so tension and release doesn't have to make theor theoretically theor theory sense, uh, but if you're using tension and release and thinking about it, that's a way that you can kind of impose triads on top of other chords, uh, just create some cool sounds. So yeah, thanks for watching.